Hi, it's Lucy Edson here for Webster's Pages. Today I'm going to share with you a couple of techniques for making fabric flowers using the new fabric strips from Webster's Pages. I was so excited whenever I got to see these at CHA. Um, if you like Webster's Pages, you're going to love them in fabric. And um, what, we've done, what they've done is they have printed these off into 18 inch strips and um, each new collection has its own set of strips that coordinate with it. Um, so this is one that's from the um, Seaside Retreat line, and then we have ones from Life's Portraits, Lullaby Lane, and uh, Garden Gala. Uh, all of them are different patterns, and they're die cut. Some have uh, zigzag edges, and some are scalloped. So there's just so many varieties of uses for these. Um, a couple of things I'm going to show. Uh, one is this fabric rose, and it's simply made with one of the wider strips, and I've um, folded it in half and run, ran a gathering stitch around the bottom by hand and gathered this up and to make a soft fabric rose. Also, um, a rolled rose that um, has one of the new buttons in the center. Another quick idea for using the strips is to um, tear, I like to have a torn edge. I know a rough edge is really, um, I love the look it has and the, the softness to it. Um, it's very simple to do. You would simply um, take one of the wider strips and make a tiny slit and then you'll be able to just tear it, just you know, grab both sides and pull it right down. So there are a lot of different uses for these strips and I think that you're going to really love them. And uh, Anyways, let's head into the studio and get started. Thanks. Hi everyone, it's Lucy Edson here for Webster's Pages. And uh, I'm just in love with these new fabric strips that Webster's has designed. The colors are just so lush and beautiful. And um, not only that, um, I just love fabric with the texture and the uh, additional beauty that it adds to any project. And of course, um, handmade flowers are definitely everywhere. And I just wanted to give a quick little tutorial on how to make a beautiful handmade rose from one of these fabric strips. Um, I've taken one of the wide strips. This is from the Lullaby Lane collection. And I'm just going to fold it in half and um, finger press it. And that just means to kind of set the crease along the top edge. I have um, a needle already pre-threaded. I have red thread only because I want to, you to be able to see it on the video. And I'm going to simply just do um, a long running stitch along one side. To use to gather it up and that a running stitch is simply weaving the needle in and out and I'm doing it about oh an eighth of an inch from the bottom edge and I am going through both layers at once. So I'm just going to take it and I have a knot on the end where I can pull it up tight when I'm finished. So I'm just going to weave this along like this. And then whenever I finish when the whole the whole way around, you can gather it up and um, I'm going to show you how to form the flower. Okay, I've got my fabric strip now, then I've done the running stitch through the bottom edge, and you can see how that looks. And it's not a very neat stitch, it's just to help gather things up. And I'm just going to add, um, kind of pull it up a little bit using the string, and I haven't even cut the needle off yet. So I'm going to just add some gathers along the whole piece, kind of even them out, and then I'm going to start forming my rows. And we're going to start with one end, and this is the end that has the knot on it. Um, I did a nice big knot to keep it from pulling through. So I'm just going to start by folding down one side to kind of form like the center bud, and then I'm going to just start wrapping the rows at the bottom. And you can kind of loosen it up or gather it. And um, I want the bottom basically to be almost flat, but not quite. So I'm just going to kind of work with this and fold it until I get a shape that I like. And if you want a little tighter, just keep rolling it up a little more. And I like the outside to be a little bit softer so it will kind of open out. And when it's like you would like it, just keep take your needle that's already in place and stitch through the base of the flower. And you can do this several times and um, just kind of pull it taut and that will hold everything in place for you. And then you can still kind of work on arranging it. So I'm just kind of going to press the center down a little bit and even kind of fold this, this edge in. Now to, um, to add this onto a project, you could add some glue to the back or sometimes I'll glue it onto a piece of cardboard and trim it away just to add a little extra stability or you may want to put it in on its side because it's really beautiful like that. 
and uh, I'm just going to kind of tuck that in. And uh, so here is one example of a fabric rose that you could make using the strips. And I have another one I'd like to show you, and um, it's just a simple rolled rose. I've taken the another strip. This is the scallop strip. This is from um, uh, the Nature line, and I tied a quick knot in one end, just a single knot, and then I'm just going to fold it in half and do a little quick finger press all the way down. Now I'm going to use my cardboard base for this one, and I've got some fabric tack glue. Um, you could also use um, hot, a hot glue gun, but a hot glue gun and I are not the best of friends. So I'm just going to dab some glue on here and uh, just try not to get too messy. And start by just putting the knot down in the middle and just work your way around the flower, twisting as you go to form your petals. This is a really simple and quick way to make a little fabric rose. So I'm going to keep twisting and rotating it around as I go. So you just continue building the rows and you can make it as large or as small as you like by however much fabric you would add. And I'm just going to keep twisting and rolling. Okay, I want this one to be a little bit smaller so I'm going to stop here. And then I'm going to also, I want to add one of the new buttons. This is one of the new sparklers from Webster's. These are so beautiful. Vintage inspired buttons. It has a really pretty little jewel in the center. It looks like cut glass. These are just, just amazing. And I think I'm just going to glue this jewel into the middle. And then I'm going to um, go ahead and trim this here. I'm going to trim enough um, off the fabric so I can tuck it under to give it a neat finished look. And then I would um, just take my scissors and trim around the edge so that the rose can be completed. And just add a glue dot or a dab of the fabric tack glue underneath and you have a finished flat rolled rose. And you can see how you could quickly make a beautiful bouquet of these. I'm going to zoom in a little bit now let you have another look. Okay, and thanks a lot for, um, I hope you enjoyed the roses.